It's one of the most distinctive sounds in all of nature. The shrieking bugle of a bull elk. Elk are one of the largest deer species, second only to moose. Female elk or cows are between 300 to 500 pounds, while males or bulls weigh up to 900 pounds. That's as much as a polar bear. From nose to tail, a bull elk is eight feet in length, five feet in height, at the shoulder, and its antlers can tower almost another four feet above its head and weigh up to 40 pounds. Newborn calves weigh about 35 pounds at birth, the same as you when you were two and a half or three years old. They're usually born in May or June when pregnant cows wander away from the elk herd to give birth in solitude. For several weeks, a mother hides her little calf while she feeds nearby. She protects her baby from predators who want an easy meal. But baby elk have some advantages. They're spotted without scent. Their natural camouflage makes it more difficult for predators to find them. Calves gain about two pounds per day in their first few months, and soon they will be strong enough to join the safety of the herd. Elk love the water in the summer and will often race in circles and take turns splashing in ponds and puddles to stay cool. summer grasses to gain important nutrients that will help them survive the winter. Bull elk spend their summers all alone high in the mountains or with a small group of other bulls in bachelor herds. As they feed, their antlers continue to grow and are covered in a fuzzy skin called velvet. By late summer, blood stops flowing to the antlers and they turn to hardened bone. The velvet either falls off or bulls find trees or shrubs to rub it off in preparation for the inevitable battles that lie ahead. September marks the most exciting time of year for elk. It's the rut or breeding season. Tension fills the hillsides and meadows as bull elk bugle, wallow and fight rival bulls. Everything that happens during the rut ensures the strongest bulls breed the cows so that all the calves will be healthy and strong. For several weeks, bulls will face challenger after challenger, seeking to take over his cows or harem. As September closes, bull elk show the battle scars of the rut. A mature bull can lose 100 to 200 pounds from constant fighting to defend his harem of cows. During the rest of autumn, cows regroup and bulls return to bachelor herds. All elk focus as much as they can on eating and building up strength before the snow flies. By the beginning of winter, elk calves are five times bigger than they were at birth. Every day, the herd is constantly searching for food, eating whatever they find grasses, shrubs, tree bark, and twigs. Elk will even paw through snow in search of nutrition to survive. The winter is long and often brutal. But for some, it's simply too much and even for the strongest 
death is often close. Every sunrise is one day closer to the warmth of spring and rebuilding the herd. Bulls shed their antlers and new ones begin to grow almost immediately. There was a time before the pilgrims settled in North America that more than 10 million elk roamed across the United States and Canada. By the early 1900s, commercial hunts and poaching reduced elk numbers to only 41,000. Thankfully, hunter conservationists took action. A new model of conservation in America created and regulated game laws. Now, scientific game management is funded by taxes and fees from hunting tags and sporting goods. Today, more than a million elk roam over the countryside, and the USA has the most successful wildlife conservation and management system in the world. No one does more to support it than hunters. In 1984, four elk hunters in Montana decided to do more than conserve elk and elk country. They formed the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation with a mission to ensure the future of elk, other wildlife, their habitat, and our hunting heritage. RMEF protects land and helps provide more public access. RMEF helps improve elk habitat with projects like prescribed burning, noxious weed treatments, forest thinning, and water development. In just 30 years, RMEF has protected or enhanced almost 7 million acres of elk country. Elk have now been restored to places like the Great Smoky Mountains, Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Ontario, where they were absent for more than 100 years. Army F recognizes that hunters are the greatest conservationists in the world. You are a part of the next generation that can appreciate wildlife and the outdoors just like them. At the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, hunting is conservation.